Having an accurately calibrated spreader is vital to ensuring you're protecting not only the environment, but also your bottom line. Over application of fertilizers can be harmful to your turf grass and can end up costing thousands of dollars in wasted product over time. By performing a spreader calibration, you can ensure you are putting down the proper amount of product in accordance with the law. This ensures you're also maximizing your investment in the product. One of the major frustrations when traditionally calibrating your spreader is the mess that occurs from putting down the product, sweeping it up, and weighing it to determine the product application rate. With the Prizelon Arc-1 Spreader Calibrator, you can affix the calibration tray directly to your spreader, making product collection, weighing, and reuse simple. The two most important factors to determine when calibrating your spreader are the effective swath width and the product application rate. To begin, calculate your spreader's effective swath width by laying out 11 calibration trays. You'll want them spaced on one foot centers. For this example, we are using Anderson's Humic DG, so we will place the product into the hopper. You should only need a few pounds of product for this portion, so I would recommend not overfilling the hopper. Make three passes in the same direction across the pans, making sure to open the hopper five feet prior to the pans and leaving it on five feet after. Empty all the containers and weigh the container contents. I like to make a little diagram so I can record what weight and position each tray was in. Once all trays are weighed, you can begin by moving from the center tray out until you reach a tray that represents, on average, a weight of 50% less than the center pan. This would represent the edge of your effective swath width. The label for the product says that the width of coverage is 8 feet and we have now confirmed that. Now that we have determined 8 feet is our spreader's effective swath width, it is time to determine our product application rate. We can determine this by looking at the label for the product and in this case, the recommendation for a high rate is 4 pounds per thousand square feet. For our example, we are going to use a test strip that is 8 feet wide, which is representative of the swath width by 125 feet long. Now I selected that length because it makes adjusting the product rate down to our desired 4 pounds per thousand square feet very simple. However, if you don't have that much area available, any size area will work for calibration. You will just have to use a few simple calculations to adjust your product rate to reflect the square footage of your given test area. Now it is time to assemble and affix our Prizelon Arc-1 spreader calibration device to our model SR2000 spreader. I find it easier to install if the side deflector handle or complete deflector unit is removed. Make sure to remove the gear covers with the three spring-loaded clamps prior to inserting the lower tray. Attach large knobs and all small knobs, making sure to only finger tighten at this point. Slide the large calibrator tray through the back of the spreader unit tray. Next, attach the front tray piece and tighten the large knobs. Adjust the frame hanger piece as necessary to ensure level fit. Finally, adjust the lower legs to rest firmly on the spreader frame and attach the removable product catchment box. Next, pour the four pounds of Humic DG into the spreader hopper. Make sure that the spreader setting and cone are adjusted properly for the product. In this example, the label calls for an M and a quarter setting with your helical cone set at three for the desired product application rate. Open the hopper at the flag marking the start of the pass and close once you reach the final mark or when the product runs out. If you run out of product prior to finishing the test strip area, it will be necessary to adjust your SR2000 spreader setting plate towards the C setting. If you have too much product left over after reaching the end of the test strip, then move your spreader setting plate towards the Z setting. Once you've determined the proper setting, make sure to record this so you don't have to do the calibration process again for the Humic DG product. For more help selecting the right Anderson spreader for your task, please visit us at our website at www.andersonsplantnutrient.com turf. You can also follow us on Twitter with the handle at Anderson's Turf.